This is Jairus of all, and I'm about to build a real-life power fist. This is not the complete process because I'm waiting on parts, but I wanted to show you what it takes to get this to this point because it's actually a relatively big project. So, for this video, I'm going to show you how to build the majority of the frame of a real power fist. Here's my parts for the power fist. Pieces of metal, and then the other stuff. Also, I got links in the description. If you want to try to make one of these, I'll put some stuff down there that you can find it easier because it took forever for me to find the parts that I needed to build this. I already screwed up because I got these in quarter inch, which fits the solenoids, but it doesn't fit these because those are eighth inch. Anyway, we'll get adapters, it'll work out. This should end up looking very similar to the way it is in Fallout 4. Now if I screwed up on the cuts on these pieces just now, uh, I'm in trouble and I gotta go get more rot because I don't have enough to make more of these, but I think that was right. And these, I have plenty extra, so I'm fine on these. I could cut these all day long. Hopefully I didn't screw up. I hate having to go get more materials. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm not known for being exact. Check this out. There we go. 2.247. Goodness, this is hard to do on camera. 2.247. 2.251, 2.249. I tried to get them close. I didn't think I was that good though. That's awesome. That's done. Look at that. That's beefy. Woo. I'm gonna punch the crap out of stuff with this thing. I'm gonna use this guide rod stuff for my handle. These little guys are gonna hold on the back of these. Bolts will go through, hold that back part in place, just like that. I was thinking about putting some kind of bracket on here to go from this piece of metal to the big nut that holds the end of this but I think I'm just gonna build a bunch of weld up until it hits it. Then I'll let it tack a little bit, and then I'll take this out, and then I'll weld it. With just a whole bunch of weld, instead of putting more metal in there. <sighs> I 
All right. Do this and then chop it in half. Ready, set, go. Initially, what I was going to do for the wrist brace was weld some studs to these bars here and here. That way I could take the bottom side, this one, and drill holes in it and have it attached with wing nuts. That way you could take it on and off easily. That would be really time consuming and I was going to put foam the whole way across on both of those pieces. That way it pinched your wrist and supported it from all sides. But that will take too long and it's annoying and I don't feel like going to buy bolts and wing nuts. So I'm just going to put a small piece of foam there and attach it and a small piece of foam there and attach it. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. All right. So a piece of foam there, a piece of foam there, and I'm going to put a little one right there, a little one right there. You'll have support from all sides and uh, you won't have to take this stupid bar on and off every time you try to get it on and take it off. And I don't have to go buy wing nuts and bolts, which I really didn't want to do. Now I'm going to make the stopper plates that will ride on the end of the rod that will smack into this. Stop the travel. Keep my things from blowing up. You're not supposed to use these like a scribe, but they're junk, so I use them for whatever I want to use them for. that's done. That's a thick piece of steel. Burned a second hole in this shirt. Caught on fire again. Did this one earlier. Bring another piece. There it is. When I welded this panel on I ran the bead across the edge of it there and I wasn't thinking about what I was doing because the bar that's going to connect to the guide rods slides flush along this part so that's why I'm cutting these back off again. I also need to clearance these welds back here because the actuator is too fat to fit between them when you go to screw it back into here. So I gotta do that also. This will be the panel that punches on the front. You know so far I've been really careful to try to make sure that there's not a whole lot of sharp edges on this thing so that you can't get hurt <clears throat> when in reality the whole point of the thing is to hurt people or well not yourself but to hurt somebody so I think I'm gonna stop doing that so I think this panel on the front is gonna have sharp corners on it plus that saves me work I don't have to round everything off Does this look funny? Okay, the difficult part now is that once I drill these holes, I'm going to make them close to the tolerance of the sticks, the guide rods that go through them, <clears throat> and then I'll countersink that way I can fill it with weld and then grind it flat again. The problem is if the angles on my guide rods, guide tubes, are a little bit off, then this will bind up when it tries to slide back and forth. So hopefully I don't have to like ream the guide rods out to make it fit because the tolerances are pretty close on all of this. So I'm going to drill these holes and hope for the best. Having it plugged in helps in cases like this. That bit is messed up. And I saw that when I got it out, but I was just hoping it would work. Time for a new drill bit. New drill bit. Time to weld it. Caught on fire again there and there see that one see that it moves 
Right now I'm not really sure what to do next because it's like the final stage of assembly. So you get to watch me put it together because this is the end of how to build the frame. I finally get to put these on, at least for a little bit. It's getting close. I forgot I got to drill a hole first. X marks the spot. If you're wondering why I drilled a hole in the middle of my impact plate, it's because I need to put a guide rod in there for the thing that's going to go in the middle of it to hold, to push on the on button. You know, think about it. How long does it take for a fist to hit something like in a two inch span? It's an extremely small amount of time. I don't want to have to t try to time a, like a button press or something with this thing to make this actuate right when it's impacting because that's when it matters. So this is actually the on button. I'll probably have another button that I can press also to override it to make it go bam, you know, because that'd be cool. But uh, yeah, this is basically to turn it on so that it's automatic whenever you punch something. This will touch before the impact happens and it'll turn this on and then boom, you know? In order to make the actuators disconnectable so that if they break, I can replace them, I'm going to use this jam nut, which is twisted onto this shaft very tightly, to lock this, uh, the pusher rod, to this whole system. And I want to weld this nut to this plate, and then I'll weld the insides of these here, and I'll weld this one here. That way this all is one piece that moves back and forth. But also, uh, that way, as long as I don't weld this nut to this nut, then I can unscrew this one. I can turn that lefty-loosey, and this rod spins inside the uh, thing, and it'll unscrew from the big nut that's welded to the plate, and I can unbolt the top of it and unscrew it from this nut, and I can take it out, and I can put a new one in if I need to. I don't think I'll need to, but just in case, you know, you want your stuff to be rebuildable. Here we are. This is what we've got so far. Once I get more parts in, I'm going to continue building this. The next video will be the completion of it, and then you get to watch me use it after that, which should be awesome. And I'll probably do another commercial like I did for the Super Sledge, which will be fun. Yeah! Thanks for watching. Remember, this is part one. If you want to see part two of how I finished this thing, subscribe. It'll benefit you because you get to see it when it comes out and you also get to see me use it whenever that video comes out. If you have something that you want to see me build, you should leave it in the comments because I read all of them. And if it's cool and reasonable, I'll do it. And if a whole bunch of you say lightsaber, trust me, I've been thinking about building a real lightsaber for a really long time. But I want to build a real lightsaber, not some, you know, thing that squirts fire out or, you know, a flashlight. Anyway, let me know what you want. And if I find it plausible, I'll do it. Thanks for watching again. This is Jairus Wall. Stay tuned for part two.